Hello and welcome back to Valheim. Well, we're out nice and early this morning. I've just portaled over to my forward operating base number two, I think this one is, where there is a, a lot of pine um, trees and I've been gathering some wood. I've um, got a couple of stacks of normal wood and almost two stacks of core wood. It's really the core wood I'm interested in. And uh, we're going to head back to base just now and I'm going to show you a bit of work I've been doing. Done some building and we're going to do some more today. Uh, I did start this off camera because uh, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to put in the area that we're working with. We've got the maple to sort of work around and that massive space cleared ready for building and and just no idea what to put there so i kind of put a few things down got a bit carried away <laughs> off camera and uh, yeah i thought well better get you back in and we'll carry on and do some more of the work i love this place i love that view through the window and you can just see the portal there that's cool anyway let's uh portal back so we're just up here at the moment and i'm doing most of the logging sort of away from the main area of the base because it's nice having a, a lot of trees around you. Uh, still got a lot of the map here we, we need to sort of uncover. Done a good job of, of clearing down here. Uh, could do some more work down in this area here, of course, but that's for another day. We're going to build today. So let's pull to back. Got quite a few things to show you today. Last time around, we were working on the copper node, and uh, I, I did finish that, and I'll show you. Look, there's, there's lots to see today. So, this is the Maypole building. This is the portal building, basically, and I'm, this might get a bit bigger, but for now, this is this is what it is. I love this. Let me stand out of the way, though. It is quite noisy um, at night when it's raining, and you come in here, and these are all glowing. Um, it lights up this maypole and the underside of the roof and everything. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. Anyway, this is a very simple structure, uh, believe it or not. We used, let me find the building items. These log beams, these are the core wood beams. And I think we went for the 45 degree angle to make the A-frame. Um, as you can see, pretty simple structure, really. And um, a kind of a... Um, what is it? Oh gosh, how do you get back into there? There it is. Uh, these these log beams along the floor to kind of give us the footprint. Um, and then I've just embellished it really with sort of some flooring, um, some stairs on the underside of the uh, roof there. Let me get rid of that. Let me take that out of my hand actually. Yeah, some stairs um, to form the inside of the roof. I did leave it uncovered for a while, but... It was very stormy um, and quite uncomfortable, quite loud. And this just gives you a bit of shelter. So put a normal roof over the top of the stairs. Um, embellish the edges by putting some little pieces here and putting the uh, logs, as you can see, to make a sort of external frame. Um, and I think this just really sets off this whole thing with the maypole I love the fact that we've got these cross pieces here and it lines up perfectly that was a happy accident of placement um but it lines up perfectly with the maypole almost perfectly let me show you around the side I'll just put a simple staircase in so we can go either way might do some groundwork and re-terraform some of this we're a bit limited because of the way that I built the moat but as you can see, there are the main sort of bones of the building, those core log beams there. And the ones are along the bottom there making the uh, the floor. We've got a lot of wood here. But it was core wood I was looking for mainly. There's the cross piece, end, end wall if you like. I don't feel rested, I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. And uh, a simple roof on that. It'd be nice to get a better roof. Uh, design on there some nicer pieces maybe yeah so that's the portal building there's a little workbench into there I'm just still, still trying to prevent spawns um, around the, the uh, perimeter I'm really pleased with that I'll show you up here quickly 
Uh, so we've got our uh, garden here. All the bees are still very happy. Got some terraforming to do. Try and make these paths work a little better. I might even cut all of this back um, and make a, a thin uh, earth wall around the edge. And, and then I can utilise all of this space. And what that might mean is that we move the whole thing sort of back this way. So we can fit some more portals in in time. But for now, it works and I think it looks great. Um, at the main base, the only big change that I made was I added on this little sort of out, out house structure and I put in the uh, fermenter and a couple of chests. I've been working on some meads. Um, we've got stamina, poison resistance and minor healing. And then if I go in here and we've already made a few things. We've got the poison resist, tasty mead. I don't know what the benefit of that really is. You'll have to let me know in the comments if anybody uses that and what you think of it. Uh, there's the minor healing and then we've got some stamina. I do use the stamina one quite a lot. It's quite useful. Oh, um, yeah, it's getting dark. So let me show you tools and weapons and we'll sleep and get the new day. Uh, let me just repair some stuff. Nice. Okay, so you know that last time around we were doing some mining for copper. Uh, well, we managed to upgrade all of our weapons. So we now have a level 3 bronze axe, level 3 bronze at gear, level 3 bronze mace, and level 3 bronze buckler, as well as the level 3 bronze pickaxe. So... We are well kitted out now. I do want to upgrade my troll armor. I think that's what I'm going to go with moving forward. Oh, and we've got our level three, obviously, fine bow as well. But yeah, I think the troll armor is what I'm going to kind of stick with. Uh, let me pop those things away. Um, oh, and I put some materials away. I want to make one thing before we kind of sleep. And uh, let me see if I can remember what it is. I, it's this, the adds. Uh, I need 10 fine wood and 3 bronze. And I think I have that stuff. Put away somewhere. I thought I did. Let me see. No. No, but we do have the um, the materials here. I think this might be... Yeah, maybe that was what I was looking at. Let me make some bronze. Yeah, that was definitely something I'd portioned off. Um, yeah, let's put this wood in here for a second so we can carry some stuff. Let me just make sure I haven't made this because I think... Yeah, that crafting station is the thing I need to upgrade the forge to, or the workbench or something, to the next level anyway. So, to build that thing, before we uh, do go to sleep, the adds. Uh, I need ten fine wood, which we can definitely do. I know I saw some in there. Let's grab ten of that. And I think I'm going to put this thing around here because it doesn't need to be inside and it's pretty ugly looking. Oh, and we've got the, the anvil too. We, I think we could do both of these. Let me just make sure that I, I don't already have this thing because I would feel very silly if I already do. We've got the cooler and the anvil already. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just waiting for the ads or however you say it. So yeah, we'll put it here. And this should be close enough and it's going to be kind of out of the way here. Um, does it need to be inside? No, it's going to go there. Let's have a look at what has happened now to our workstation. Yes, workstation level four. So that should be this, shouldn't it? And will that now let me upgrade? No, but this one will level four and we can upgrade our troll armor probably let's have a look yes troll hide let's grab what we have and we'll do that real quick oh we've only got 14 hopefully that'll be enough 
So, upgrade tunic. We need four. Put that back on. Uh, troll pants. There we go. And cape or helmet. Helmet we need bones. Cape we need bones too. We don't have enough for the cape, so let's do the helmet. We'll grab a couple of bones. We only need two. And we'll have to get another troll. That'll be cool. Helmet. Upgrades. Nice. Okay. So for the last upgrade, the cape, I just need ten. We've got two, so we need two trolls. That's achievable. Uh, where did I put this stuff? There it is. We'll put that away. And we've got some bronze left. Or... Yeah, bronze left. Let's put that away because I don't know if I need that for something. Can't remember. But we're going to go sleep now and uh, get to uh, do some building in the morning. Oh, all my carrots are ready to pick for seeds. So I've shown you the fermenter. Actually, that might well be ready. I love the way they all just pop out there. They're, they're great looking bottles. Let's put those away. What, what should we do next? Let's do... Let's do another stamina. And um, let's take uh, three with me, I think it's a good number. Oh, why have I got five? Three. That's, that's very odd. There we go, anyway. Yep, showed you that. Uh, I've got nothing new over here. I've got a box full of coal almost. Well, no, not really a box full. Got some honey. Uh, we've got more wood in here. Awesome. Right, good. Right, let's go and have a look at the main build then. So I've started work on this, but I I have a lot to do. And I'm um, just trying to re really come up with some interesting ideas for, you know, new looks really. Um, just to give me a different feel. So what I've done is I've done the same thing with the accent detail around the side here. Um, started with the A-frame again. Got a nice entranceway here. It's all covered. I think I'm going to do this on this side, but let's get inside anyway and have a look. So you go down on into the uh, into the building, just a couple of steps. So it's a uh, something a bit interesting. We've done the same with the um, crosses here to give a nice feature wall. I need to put the roof on that section. And we have a great picture window here looking out over onto the ocean down there. Now we need to put the kitchen in and the bedroom and some storage. Uh, but I've got a couple of little nooks here that I've crafted. Um, that are going to be for the workstations, so we should be able to get the normal workstation in and the accompanying um, other items there and maybe the forge with the anvil and so on on that side uh, and maybe then the kitchen could be in the centre of the building here uh, if I take out these couple of floor pieces and we can definitely do something with the roof here to vent the smoke uh, but really I need storage, um, room for storage too. And I thought I might separate these up into different sections, just for a different look, because I think when you build such a big room, it can just be uh, a little overwhelming. So uh, making smaller sections kind of made sense to me. So first of all then, let's put some of these logs down and... Uh, continue on extending this thing out so I'm, I'm going with these all the way along I have not put any here I'm just putting them on that side and I'm, I'm not sure whether I want them on this side or not just for a different look see I've only got them at the top there I've not put one down at that level so this is the, the, the cleaner side, if you like. 
Um, and that's more intricate sort of side of the building. Um, but anyway, let's get the uh, angled pieces in. It is a bit tricky sometimes to snap stuff to the right point. So you'll probably see me putting things in and then moving them again and yeah it is uh, it is interesting right that's a very small looking log isn't it that should be the large log surely oh yeah they are that size that's right yeah that's the wrong angle it is that one i'm looking for yeah so trying to get that um to snap into the ground at the right point i think i had it there i think that's right yeah that looks good and now we've got other pieces now supporting it and as you move up yeah that worked out perfectly good you want to try and keep the um structural integrity so uh, that's made that green now where it was yellow before so it's kind of each piece is helping the other to uh to be supported let's try and get that to snap on there now there we go perfect so i don't think i want to go out much further than that we want to have a bit of room to kind of stand and fight because we do get gray lings and gray dwarfs and stuff standing here uh, i could do something about that maybe put another earth wall there but okay um yeah i'm pretty happy with that we want some sort of border across the bottom here and i've started put, putting these things in in this section because we're looking for something a little different along here um i've got some over here too there we go we might need to repair some of this stuff it's kind of been exposed to the weather because there's no um no roof in this area we'll definitely get a roof on here soon you can see they're kind of a different gray color where there's no roof yep that's all good i think uh they're fine for some reason definitely strange the way it works Okay, we need to put the floor down next, I guess. Um, I'm doing an alternate kind of pattern here. And every now and then I'm kind of um, putting in some supports underneath. So I'll bring it out a couple. It's a very slow business. And we'll just turn it again. So we're doing a bit of a... what's going to be there next uh that needs to be like that like a checkerboard kind of thing yep that's worked and then i want that overlap in there and i want that one there as well oh and we need to repair some weather damage there i can see nice good back to the floor so give me a couple of minutes, we'll get this done. So I think I want some supports in here. And the way I've been making that work, you can't... If I try and put that down, you'll see it's got nothing to snap to. I can put it at the top and I could probably put that there and maybe put one underneath. But it is really awkward to get it to snap. So the way I found works good there is if you put a flat piece down like that and then you can actually snap underneath nice and easy and just remove that um and i've just been putting those in um just part way along the floor just to give it some strength um and that seems to work quite well there's a couple of those running all the way along the middle of the building so let's carry on with the floor we want to rotate that again um, I can do these here. Get this done as quickly as possible. And then we can get the end put on this building and then I can have a look at the inside and work out what we're going to do. Now, do we go for that kind of effect? 
at the end there. It might be nice. But it could also be interesting to put a big window in. I do love that. So I might try and do that at the end here. But let's get this floor in. Okay, this is a, a, a very interesting game building wise. There's an awful lot you can do. Now I might put the uh, these little bits in again. No, we're good actually because we, we've got this end structure. Now what did I do at this end? Let me run around and have a look. Did I put beams? I did. I think you can just see them down there. Yeah, let's put those beams across then to finish off this end. Need to fix that weather damage there. All right, we'll put that one there. Uh, see all the different snapping points you've got? That one there. And one in the middle. I think that's good. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Yeah, and that gives me enough enough room there. Okay, right. So let's have a look at these things. Um, is that going to be good for there? Yeah. I don't, didn't really want to make it too conventional, but you do need something for it to work against. Um, I'll just keep an eye on my food. Just thinking how this is going to work. Let's do... Yeah, we're going to need these, I think. Yep. Yeah. I might take some of this out, so you have to bear with me. Okay, that's what I did. I'm trying to remember how I did that last one. So I like that. That's good. And then we want... Um... Let's see, that does need to go there, doesn't it? Yeah, and that needs to go there. And then to do this, we need the upside down piece. There, and then flip that round. Yeah, this is going to work. This is going to work. I wasn't sure I could remember. It's uh, quite low to the ground, but I do like the fact that it, it fits in this space quite nicely. And we'll, we'll seal up the top. Get that weather tight. Uh, is that rotated correctly? There's a little gap at the top there. No, that works. And we can always hop out of there, which I kind of like, actually. But just to finish this off nicely, I think what we'll do is we'll probably... Put in maybe one of those. Mm, would that fit? I think I had it there, didn't I? Come on. That looks pretty cool. Um, and maybe a horizontal one. Let me get that to snap lower. So you can either do one or the other, can't you? Can't get it to snap. Well, we'll, we'll do something like that for now. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, I could also do something like that to give the bit of definition to the building. Oh, lovely. We've got one of these um, raids. This is hilarious with the uh, with these fellas, the way they come and attack. And they just can't do anything. Hello. So this is where they all stand. This is where they all stand and gather. And they just cannot reach us. They do throw stuff at us, which is a bit annoying. They've got a fire there to destroy, to keep them busy. But eventually they'll all end up in the, uh, in the trench. Let me get that uh, shaman. So the longer you spend in your base, ne near a workbench, near your main kind of location, uh, the higher chance you have of getting one of these events, 
Oh, I keep missing this guy. There we go, he's down. So yeah, they'll all be down here now. And then when we uh, kill them all, we'll have a load of resources underneath us. It's pretty awesome. Right, let's get a few of these guys now. Oh, here they come. This is so cool. Thank goodness I dug this trench. It makes life so much easier. We're going to have some repairs to do because they can hit this building, of course. But not these guys. It would be a pain if these uh, big brutes were able to come and hit the building. Going to waste all my arrows on these fellas. Missed him there. Okay, he's on fire. And we'll take these little grey grey dwarfs down in a moment. In fact, I can just jump over there now. There's my food and stuff. Yeah, we're good. Let's go and go and test, test this stuff out. Stamina. This thing's great for crowds. Let me have a one of these potions. Pretty awesome. I love this thing. Especially upgraded. It's so easy. At this level at least, anyway. And we've actually, in multiplayer, taken down a couple of trolls with this, um... You sneak up to the, uh... Sneak up behind the troll. And hit it with this thing, and it, it's incredibly, um, powerful. Okay, we've got all that to go and collect. So let's go and do that next. And then we'll get back to doing our building. Oh, look at my stamina already. Look at all this lovely stuff. Nice. Need to eat. Let's eat. We'll have another one of those, those and those. It's nice seeing the, uh, that raid come in, actually. Let's get some stamina and we'll hop back over there. Right, let's repair stuff. Uh, they did do a little bit of damage. It's not, it's not bad. It's mainly the workbenches they seem to hit with those rocks and stuff. And the, these, uh, little torches now and then if they're, if they're a good shot. Right, okay, and there was some weather damage stuff down here. Okay, I think I like that window there rather than having another one of these. Um, but let's put the accent details on this side now. Um, so we want this. Um, yes. And then we rotate. No, I want that one. And then we rotate them like that. And we put them all of the joins all the way up. I think that's good. And then we put some more of these beams down. Yeah, once you get the first one on, the rest snap in pretty easily. And it just gives it a real nice look. I'm doing I'm doing something different this end, aren't I? I'm doing the extra. Yeah. Does it matter? Am I bothered by that? I could do the flat pieces. It would be cheaper. Because I want to do some more building. We might even take that old building down and build up there. Uh, yeah, let's do this instead. It does have a nicer finish, especially when you put the cross at the top. Um, so I think that might work. Might work better for me. Let's get that one there. I have to go and sleep again. Hopefully we don't get a storm. It's nice to build in in the, the good weather when the storm's raging. I just want to be inside. And we can start moving stuff over, but I do need to get my storage sorted before we do that, because storage is a massive, massive part of the game. Okay. Let's get that uh, cross piece. I think it would be that one, probably. Nice. 
And I think I'm going to put one of those sticking out maybe as well. I like that. Did I put that on here? I did not. All just little details that make it a little bit more interesting. I did that side. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Um, oh, and I did double double crosses there. Okay, let's go and have a look at that. So this is um, this is pretty awesome. I, I've got space here for a workbench, but it's kind of tucked out of view um, from inside. But it gives me cover down here. Stop stuff spawning in. But I, I love this um, this view because you've got the two um, nooks, if you like. And then the main kind of window focus on this side. And then this is probably going to be... Hmm, what can we do here that might be a bit different? Maybe we'll do the same sort of thing that we've done on the portal with the stairs inside. The portal building. I'm not sure. It's getting a bit dark, a bit difficult to see. I might go and sleep and get the new day. I think that looks pretty good. Let's put that extra um, cross on the top there. If we can get it to snap. I've run out of, run out of wood. Can you believe that? Let's go and grab some wood. What, what do we need? We've got cool wood. We need normal wood. And I feel cold. Okay, let's go and rest. I'll grab one of those. And um, let's put the stone in there. And uh, yeah, let's get the morning here and we'll finish off uh, some more of this building. Okay, lovely. Another new day. We are doing pretty well for food. Let me put some junk away here. And we've got some of those berries. They're such a pain. We pick up so many of those. Um, I'm not going to complain about the resin. I'm already noticing we're running out of resin. Let's grab another stack of the normal wood out of here. I think we've got plenty now to, to build with. Oh, I just realised we've got some grey dwarf eyes. That's some stuff I've put aside to make a portal. Uh, only thing we need there is some more um, cores. Need to do some uh, tomb. Some burial uh, tomb raids. Okay, let's get back down here and go and see what we're going to do. I don't think I want to put that kind of roof there. That's the trouble. But we do need to get a fire in here pretty quick. What could we do? Whoops. This one's got the ladder. That's really useful. The ladder's... Uh, Just for walking around on the roofs. Uh, let me see if I can actually stand up on the main centre beam. Oh, try not to fall off. So what could I do? Do I want to make another one of those or keep it straight? I've got all of this detail this side. This is pretty boring. I'm playing here. What could we do? Hmm. Let's get back down, have a look at it from down here. Whoops. Yeah, I'm definitely going for a theme with these uh, these walls. Okay, well, we'll get the little walls in. I, I like that look. Get those in first. Hmm. What did I do this side? Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Like that. Hmm. I could just put I could just put roof pieces in and make this the storage area. But it seems like such a shame to miss out on that view. Over there. Can we do something clever? I think we've got to do we've got to do another 
another view out over there haven't we I can't I can't leave it as it is so let's get some stuff uh, going here I'm trying to remember exactly how I did the other pieces let's get rid of you and you and you for now Okay, so that will snap. We, we just saw that snap into place. Yeah. But what angle do I want that at? This is the trouble. Will you snap into place? I think it's these little pieces here that are giving me the, uh, the snapping point. What about if I do something like this? That. That's going to look weird, isn't it, with this piece there? Yeah. Not sure about that. Hmm. You can't put these cross pieces at, at an angle, can you? I wonder. Oh, that's that's not bad that's not bad that kind of gives us a bit of a view um let's see how that oh gosh i've not left myself any room let's have a look how that looks from this side though yeah we could kind of bring this out from the top oh yeah okay you you're in the wrong place maybe like that mm. and we jump up onto these little yeah perfect right so we want something that's going to go out and across to there No, will it let me, me do anything? I'm in the way here. Okay, let's get back around here. Sorry about this. This is the problem with building on camera. When you're trying out new things, trying to get things to work. It is very interesting. Can I snap those pieces in there to finish that off? I can. Those cross pieces are no good for me, are they? That one works. This is too... This is no good there. I think I can get away with doing something like that. And do that. Put one of those pieces in at the top. Let's pick up all my wood. So that's a much smaller version of the one the other side, isn't it? That gives me the point that I'm looking for. That's where I was going wrong. Let's try and stand up there. Um, and now let's put this horizontal beam to here. And that should snap now because there's a couple of snapping points. Yeah, that's good. And then we can put the roof in down here. Uh, we could potentially get rid of you. Give ourselves a bit more room in here. What do we think of that? What do we think? I want to put these logs in really for the main kind of structure. just for the strength probably not necessary but okay that works is that yeah we've not got anything like that on this side and it's about the same size as this isn't it 
Yeah, and I should be able to put one of these in if I angle it down into the floor, I'm hoping. We might need to put something in for it to snap to. So what we can do is, um, this is a little trick, if you can't get it to snap, put one of those in, then put the piece in here. Maybe that. Let's take that one out. Yep, there you go. And you, you actually managed to get it to snap to the right point. And that should finish that off nicely. I think that works. I think that works. Get rid of that out of my hand. Okay. This is going to evolve. This building is definitely going to evolve over time. Yeah, I like that. Let's put the cross piece in at the top there. Um, we're going to put this end piece on as well. Kind of carries on the theme. And I might come out with a couple of these things on this one. Yep, let's do this. So it's all about embellishments and then, you know, Getting the uh, the actual practical stuff in is kind of secondary at the moment, but we want something that just looks interesting rather than just a, a normal long house. And then another one of these cross pieces should work here now. And another one of these sticking out. And we probably need these things going to the floor. Whoops. Getting the angles right. It's quite interesting sometimes. Good. There's a lot going on in this. There's an awful lot. But it's also just experimenting with what you can do. Okay, I might come back and try and get that done. Okay. Right, how's this look? What do we think? Get that out of my hand. You've got to imagine that little piece is there. That needs a piece there, doesn't it? Okay, I can see that now. Um, might have to overlay that. Has that gone through there? No, it hasn't. That's perfect. Okay, good. Yeah, let's do the same with these here. Oh, that, that meets nicely there. It is odd, but it, it does work. Um, let's try and get that snapped in there. And did that snap through the... No, it didn't come through the floor. Good. And it didn't come through the wall there either. Perfect. Interesting. Okay. Doing the roof now is, yeah, very, uh, very tricky sometimes. Okay, let's start on the roof. Is it this angle? Getting the right angle is the key. Start up in that valley. that's the wrong angle because it will snap to underneath and it will snap to above sometimes too and at the moment it's not snapping to anything is that the right one 45 26 i don't think it's that one oh it is that one yeah look how easily that snapped in I think it is that one. And what do we need now? Just two side pieces. So that is the 45 corner. So we'll need the 45 roof. Oh no. Stand back up on your little notch. There we go. Yeah, that snapped in two. Perfect. Okay. Good. Let's get the top bit. Both of those in. And I also want to put those little ridge um, pieces in that we've been doing. Um, can we stand there and do that? We can. Kind of finishes off this rough edge, really. 
Um, we'll do the same there. Two. And we need one more across the top there if I can reach. I'm not sure it'll let me. Nope. We'll, uh, we'll do the next piece of the roof here first. Come on. No, 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 no. Damn it. Okay, that's what it looks like from inside. So we're getting a bit of the view. Mm, it's a bit, a bit obscured, but let's work on this bit next. Stand somewhere we're not going to fall. Okay, so we needed those pieces, didn't we? That looks good. And then we need one down there. This is tricky. Might need to do that from in here. Yeah, let's get up, maybe get up onto that section there. At least there's a lot of places to stand. It's very complicated. Need to be up there a little bit more. I don't know if we can do it from inside. Well, let's try. Um, not there. They're there. I think. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a gap. Okay. Let's run around. We should be able to finish this off now. How's that look? Yeah, can we get up here again? And go. There we go. That's probably going to be easier. Okay, and I want these ones. There, and one here. Is that good? Is that look? Yeah, I think that, I think that works. And we'll put one there. On there, we need the the top uh, beam there. There, and we should we should be able to snap that in there. Perfect. Anything we need to do. Yeah, that's one side at least. It's kind of interesting. It's odd. It doesn't match. It's not symmetrical. But it is definitely not boring. Uh, we could put a couple of pieces to frame that view. I think that might be neater. Yeah, I think that looks good. And we might need to put in... What do we think? Maybe those there too. It's a bit of overkill, but it gives you those nice uh, edges. That looks good there and there. Right, let's uh, get that out of my hand and have a good look inside here. I need to put some resin. I've got no resin with me. I've got some little wood shutters here, either side of the door, which I was fiddling with, trying to see if um, that was something I wanted to do. I was going to do something with the, uh, the cross there, um, maybe duplicate it that side as well. But that's going to be in this um, little nook area. So I might just take that out. Um, and it would just be one of these uh, panels in there instead. I think that probably is going to look better. And um, I think what I did here was I kind of layered up some of these to give a kind of ladder effect either side of the door yeah that's good right okay um get that out of my hand we've still got this to work on the roof uh, section over here that's not looking too bad yeah you get a bit of a view not as good as this window maybe i should have done another one of these diamond pieces but that is a lovely view because you get the ocean you get the tree anyway i might put some uh, balcony in somewhere a bit of an upstairs thing going on um right we need to work on this side of the building i'd love to have a view of the garden here hmm 
Hmm. What could we do? It seems such a shame to close all of this off. Maybe we'll work on this bit of the uh, the roof. Um, I can see I need to eat and we do need to rest. Maybe let's go and do that and get the new day. Right, let's run down and try and put this roof in over this section. That's the logical next bit to work on, I think. I'm going to keep falling down here, aren't I? just in time looks like we're gonna have some weather oh yeah these these are snapping in pretty quickly now and it will stop me having to keep doing these repairs all the time so much faster than when I was trying to work all of this out all these angles and stuff nice pretty easy Make sure it snaps into the right place so it looks good from underneath. Um, thing we need to do here is the ridges. I do like these on the top. Mm, do we want them there or just along here? I think just along here for now. And uh, we'll probably want something sticking out of here as well. No, this is the thing. Am I going to put the fireplace in here? If so, what I might do is something like this with the roof. Um, we don't want to close this off if we're going to use this for the fireplace. So how can we do this? Probably a shallower roof, I would think. Maybe something like that. But we've got to stop the rain coming in. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look. Do we want the roof? Can we get away with removing that? How does that look structurally? Not bad. Not bad. We put the uh, the fireplace in here need to raise the uh, the ground up we'll see that's quite a big space for the fire um hmm. might overlap this and give myself a bit of a i'm gonna have to keep running round otherwise for the uh, the fire that's the problem with having the entrance right in the centre. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm happy with that, actually. Put that floor back in for now. Maybe we'll move the uh, the fire somewhere else. Hang on a second. Where could we put the fire? It would be nice down here. Maybe this could be the kitchen. With the fire here. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I even need that. Yeah, the building seems okay without it. Yeah, let's make this the kitchen um, and the fire area. So we do need something here to vent the smoke out. Now, I saw somebody do something quite clever with some angled pieces like this. Um, how did they do it now? They did it in a corner. But I want it kind of in the middle here. And we, we'd like the chimney to kind of be there. Let me do... Let's see, I need a snapping point. That's the thing. Oh, okay. Hmm, I might need to work on this off camera. Let's start with that. Um, no, 
let's do a couple of uprights maybe we could put the fire in there hmm okay well i think i'm gonna have to think you know really come up with something here i i've got an idea of what i'd like this to look like and i just need to work out exactly how to structure it and where to place it so it's not going to be in the way um when we run through here um, but it, it needs to give us the um, the chimney area that we need and uh, I just need to work out how to do this. Welcome back. I've done a little bit more building and uh, kind of finished the fireplace. So I thought I'd bring you back in uh, just a bit of an after edit to the main recording um, so that you could see what I ended up with. Um, I'm just going to bring out a little bit of resin I did have the game crash on me briefly oh, and it's raining so this will be a good test um, so here is what we ended up with so this is the chimney I think it looks like the fire has gone out okay so then maybe this is going to get too wet we'll see let's get some of these torches lit I'll just put one in each for the moment. Uh, that one and that one. And this is what we have. Yep, I've just run out of wood. Oh, what a relief. Okay, this is what we came up with in the end. This is the kind of finished structure. Um, got this wonderful window down the end. Um... I might lose these um, these cross pieces actually. Let me let me see what these would look like without, because they're kind of in the wrong place. Uh, maybe I'll just put a conventional wooden piece across. Let's see what that looks like if we can get it to line up properly. Yeah, and like that. What do we think? That looks better. Yeah, I do think it looks better. Okay, so what we did, I took up a couple of floor tiles here. I'm not sure how big the um, stone fire pit is, but I'm hoping it's going to be able to fit in here. And I've got these uh, two beams this side. That gave me the idea to kind of make a square, almost, or a, a rectangle um, area here for the fireplace. Got the roof in next because we needed that at a different angle from the main roof in order to let the smoke out. Um, and then obviously worked on something here to reflect what we've already been putting around the place. So, um, oh lovely, the weather's clearing up a little bit now. So we've already got this lovely window here so I tried to replicate that over here that's a great view out to the garden from here and um, kind of uh, mirrored the um, these corners these triangles on this side too and lots of triangles and then uh, just a, a clear space there for the smoke to exit and we've got a little bit of perhaps storage space just either side of the fire which will be helpful for the food this is the nice um crisscross pa pattern that we had at, right at the beginning that was the first sort of bit of decoration i put in here worked on these next um and obviously then we've we've got this one down here this with the, the view out to the ocean which is pretty nice but this is the feature this is the feature of the room uh, let me see if any of this needs repairing because nothing is damaged. So I think that works. I think we just run out of wood. Right, let's have a look from outside. So, main entrance could do with a bit of love. This is looking a little bit boring. Um, so I might work on something 
in that triangle section there. I do like the stairs like that. And I like the um the double uh pitch of the of the roof there, the double um trim if you like. This looks nice from outside. So, you know, that it is a bit dull in there, but we'll get some lights in. And uh, we're mirroring these double crosses everywhere. Bit of a theme going on there. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. This is working. Um, there's actually a, a triangle there that isn't really letting any of the smoke out. Most of it is coming out the top section. But from up here, or in the garden, or when you're doing the bees, you're getting a lovely view. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I was going to say, you're getting a lovely view. Of all that detail. Yeah, and it is working. Definitely. You can see the smoke in the centre, but the, uh, the most uh, majority is coming out. It's not actually smoking up the inside we'll go and check again in a second i am thinking i might need to put another door in somewhere there might be a bit of smoke lingering but it is getting trapped in that section and then coming out there well you know we'll see we'll see how it goes i like that yep that's pretty good oh i got a bit of wood there oh no I'm glad this uh, this is here because I figured out how to do this. So the trick is to get yourself one of those in. Then put one of those in and then remove that. And that is how you can get that to go to the floor. Now, if you tried to actually um, snap this piece in my hand to that um beam there because of all this stuff here you just can't get it to snap but if you put those try those um uh, cross pieces in you can kind of cheat it i think that's what i did this side as you can see it's very complicated all the stuff we've got going on around here um but we managed to get everything sort of snapped in where we needed to that's good just having a look, see if there's anything else we want to do here. That's a nice view to the fire there. These two bits here, these um, nooks for the workbench areas, are a bit underwhelming, but they're very functional, so we may even hide those crafting stations behind doors. Um, let me just quickly see. I don't want to spend too much longer because this video is going to be really long but um i think everybody enjoys a bit of building um hmm, just noticing that this is slightly off isn't it yeah you can see an awful lot of the um wooden pole there but not so much on that side but anyway i'm sure it'll be fine let's go and see what these look like if we put doors in to like hide these areas i'm not sure it might be a bit too much. What we need is the um, wooden gates. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go and grab a bit of wood. I can't believe how much wood we've used. It's been incredible. Uh, so we'll put that core wood away. And we can use that on some other buildings elsewhere. I do need to eat. Got to keep uh, an eye on my food because we could get any manner of attacks at any time. Get both piles. Yeah, I, I, I'm liking that with the garden, the bees. It's kind of interesting, you know, there's a lot going on. You have to let me uh, know what you guys think. Okay, let's have a look. Um, this is just an idea. No, it clips through, unfortunately. We could centre it in the gap there, but it is going to clip. This could definitely be portioned off without any problems. I um, don't know if I want to do that though. So could that. It 
just an idea. Just looking, looking at different things we could do. No, I kind of like the openness of that. Uh, I guess we could always try. Actually, I should really give these doors a a fair go. See, we could center one of those in that doorway and make that a room quite easily. All we would need to do is probably place a couple of those. Uh, I'll put this many in if I can get it to snap down there. See how sometimes it's awkward to get things to place where you want them to. But that's actually enough to get that to snap into place anyway. Let me get rid of that and let me get rid of that. So what do we think of that? If those were sealed up, we can make a couple of rooms here. It's going to be a bit tight with the workbenches and all the equipment in, I guess. Hmm, but it's a possibility. I don't think I'm going to do that now. And I think this is too nice of you to cover that up. I'm glad the weather's uh, I'm glad the weather's improved. Let's, let's see. No, yeah, we're not actually. There's a lot of room there for the smoke to gather before it exits. So, what's probably stopping it is that little section at the top there. But it does look so good from outside. I'm loath to remove it. But it is exiting the building eventually. So I think we're good. I think we're good there. Okay, well, I thought I'd bring you back just to have a look, um, to show you what I came up with in the end. Um, the only thing I would... <laughs> I put all the core wood away, of course. I wouldn't mind having a look at whether I can put anything against these. Um, yeah, before we go, I need to see. I need to see if this is possible. Because those are really ugly. I do know there are better building items to come uh, once we um, advance a little bit more, but um, not the portal building. We need to be down here. Let me just see. I don't know what angles these are. I'm just intrigued as to whether okay, it's not that angle. And that's too. Yeah, it needs to be. It needs to be a sharper angle. Okay, um, it was just an idea. Unless... No, you can see. You can see the angles off. It'd be nice to line that, wouldn't it? And of course I've put the other wood away, so I don't even know if any of these work, but I don't think so. I'll have to live with that for the, for the moment. Okay, well, that is where I am going to leave this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can understand, I, th I hope, anyway, uh, why I wanted to do some of this off camera, some of the experimenting, uh, because there is an awful lot to try and work out. And, um, yeah, a lot of changes, a lot of fiddling, a lot of trying to get things to fit, but I'm so pleased with the results. And uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, maybe a bit too much detail. Uh, but, you know, we've had fun. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, it for now. Next time we'll come back and move everything over. We'll try and get some storage in. Get all the workstations in. Um, and then we can, uh, we can actually turn that into some sort of grow. Um, place for the garden, maybe. Place to store all the honey. All that kind of stuff maybe some of the building materials keep it out of the weather um, and then this will be all the crafting you know proper crafting stuff and uh, should be good so thank you so much for watching until next time take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now